Hey guys, this is Weekend Rail Rover. Down with Uncle Tio again, this time checking out the Sounder Station. Here comes an old BNSF locomotive. And an old Santa Fe Warbonnet in there too. Yeah, I came down here to explore some old tracks, but it looks like they might be fenced off. Going to property, not gonna mess with that. Yep, first time of the day. Nice, beautiful sunny day right here. This has been a rarity in the Northwest this summer. Not strange, it's sun. Okay, time to explore. So here's your sounder station in Mukilteo. Just basically a platform and a yellow line to stay behind. And a couple old, uh, well not really old, but old style artwork. Canoe, at least it actually looks like something, unlike a lot of modern artwork. Looks like the Wave to Go or Orca Pass or whatever. Wave to Go's Ferry, that's right. For all you Boeing fans out there, so I think we got one of the 780-somethings, I'm guessing, coming into Payne Field, which is just a few miles south of here. If you were an airplane fan, check out Payne Field. You can watch planes coming and going all day long. About as much as I do trains. Seven forty seven, okay. Now I can see it. So right back there are those metal structure uh, walkway and everything it looks to be the old dock. You can basically see where the tracks used to be or still are embedded in the asphalt. But taking a quick look at these signs, no trespassing US government property, and violators will be prosecuted. It's not worth it. Let's be illegal. You're probably getting in trouble. So don't go back there, okay? content to look at it from Google Maps. It's just an abandoned track. There's lots more elsewhere. Not worth getting in trouble. Some people think it's fun. I don't. Although if you do need a little satisfaction here through the fence, looks like you can see some railroad ballast. But honestly, the moving trains are a lot more interesting. Alright, cool. Here's one more thing for you before we leave the sounder station. That's, I think, is one of the bottoms from the old fuel tanks or oil tanks that used to be here. Just a big piece of sheet metal. That thing is huge. It's all rolled up. Like a big carpet almost. You can see the cement line there where it used to encircle. That thing's just massive. Those things must have been huge. Okay, here we are at the... Oh, what would this be? I guess it's kind of the north end, although it might actually be running east. Northeast end, I guess, of the uh, sounder station. Right there in the distance, you can see the uh, steep track going up the hill that goes to Boeing. Boeing plant. I think that's actually the steepest mainline grade in the US, 3%, something like that. But yeah. So it looks like the sounder train has its own track into here. So it doesn't have to sit there and take up space while the mainline for the freight is right there. And then down, you can see where that blue crane is. I think that's the uh, Boeing rail barge facility that was built a couple years back. So, just kind of look around the area that I've been living in my whole life, basically, and I've never even seen yet. About time I do that before I head off to wherever I move next. We'll see. I'm trying to figure out what this is going to be. I have no idea what this is. It's like 
either it's going to be a drainage ditch, like one of those little retention ponds, but it's a temporary fence, and there's rebar sticking out, and there's concrete down there. Are they going to display like a caboose or an engine here or something? Or maybe just some more sculptures? I wonder. Or is this like an archaeological dig of like the original depot? Perhaps. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Local Teo Community Beach. I don't know this is in the park. I don't know this lighthouse. There's the rail. Right there. Let's go check them out. Where the tide comes in. There's the ferry. Old pilings. Used pilings. Oh, okay. Back up just the used. Okay, here's one of those things. No, it looks like you're know, trespassing. I'm probably said it too. There's people down there. I think it means we're trespassing on the dock. I don't even want to go on that dock. It's so rotted. Go check out these abandoned rails. I don't know what these are used for. It looks like maybe a boat launch or something. But they're old rails. Oh boy, we got lots of. Who knows what kind of water coming out of here? Coming out of that building. I mean, it's a. I used to, actually think this is a creek that goes underneath the town. Comes down from above behind Michael Tio. And here we go. Abandoned rails. Just hearing into the water. That's pretty cool. Still sitting on some rusty metal pilings. That one's still got a tie across it. Got a big old bolt sticking out of there. I can't tell if it's spiked or not. There's one of these bolted down there. Spiked now. I think he used to go up into the military complex, so probably not a sawmill thing. That's rusted rail, all right. Huh. What was this was used for? Here's another view of the old tracks. You can see them disappearing into the water. It's like this might have been a, one of the cars that traveled on it at one time. A long time ago. Not much left. I don't feel like they any wheels are even left on the thing. But yep, sure enough. There's a long locked gate there. Looks like some more rail. Looks like it used to disappear into there. Of course they don't use it anymore, so it's been torn up. There's some abandoned links right there in the complex. So yeah, it's probably uh in inside one of these buildings. And came out here for some purpose, drop stuff off into the water or bring stuff up. One of the shorter railroads in the world and one of the stranger ones. The fact that it goes into the water on purpose. It's like these rubber things are made out of uh, old tires, rubber bumpers. Some more old steel down here. Pipes with hooks on them. And some sort of frame in between. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Get some pictures. I'm gonna get down this thing without falling out. By the way, in case you're interested, there's your shot of your overgrown military dock. Right there. See all the way to Everett, way down there. So I can see where I work from here. But yeah, I've seen pictures of that dock and it's all broken and there's two gaping holes. So not only is it dangerous, it's illegal. Just stay off of it. So, let's go explore these tracks a bit more. Well, this is the farthest south I've ever made it from a uh, lighthouse park. Right down there, big stump in the distance. That's usually uh, surrounded by water in high tide. So I can't come out here right when it's perfectly low tide. There's the top of the rail right there, near track. Kind of find spikes out here though, just because, well, the tide. Taking them, taking them. 